Chris Thacker, and this is the Curiosity Show from the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Today we are in our Age of Mammals exhibit, and this exhibit showcases mammal evolution all around the world, from the extinction of the dinosaurs to the present day. We're here to learn about mammals in Southern California about 12 to 15 million years ago during the Miocene. Los Angeles was a very different place then, because at that time, this area was completely underwater. So, instead of coyotes, bobcats, and mountain lions, we had whales, dolphins, sea cows, and even weirder marine mammals that are now extinct. With me is our curator of mammals, Dr. Jorge Vela Suarebe. What's your specialty, Jorge? Hi, Chris. I specialize on herbivorous marine mammals, it's like the sea cows and the manatees that live today, but also extinct and mysterious mammals that used to live here in LA. Ooh. And Jorge has done lots of field work in California, the Caribbean, and Central America. And he's particularly good at looking at the fossil bones and figuring out from them what the living animal was like. So we've got two skulls here. These are both from sperm whales, and they're both from the shark tooth hill deposit, so they're about 15 million years old. So Jorge, why do we have two of them here? Well, both skulls are from the same species, an extinct sperm whale called Alophysid or Morisei, but they do show some differences, like the tips of their snouts. Oh, okay, yeah, because I can see this one is more slender and pointed, and then this one down here is kind of broader and, and beefier. Why is that? So the current hypothesis is that the ones with the broader, sort of beefier snout, those were males. And mother sperm whales uh, are known for fighting for the females. Uh, they're feisty and they ram each other uh, <laughs> while they're doing this. So the hypothesis is that these male allophysitor had this really broad tip of the snout so they can also ram each other and fight for the girls. Oh, now this is an extinct creature called a desmostylian. It's kind of like a hippo. It's got four legs and it can walk on land, but it mostly lives in the water. So Jorge, how do we know that just from looking at the bones? One of the distinguishing features of desmostylians is that their hands are pretty big relative to their body. So they're kind of like a catcher's meeting. They're wide, they're a little bit long, so they probably were very good for doggy paddling. So when the envision of this was still in swimming the ocean, they were probably looking very much like a polar bear, doing a doggy paddle with the front limbs and using their hind limbs, moving them sort of outwards for steering. Oh, okay. So if they lived most of their life in the ocean, what do they eat? They were probably eating different varieties of seagrasses or algae, kind of like kelp. And there are marine mammals still alive today that are herbivorous and eat like that, right? Indeed. Let's go take a look. So these are sea cows, Jorge, and these are your specialty. So what can you tell us about these? How do these eat? They're herbivores too, right? Yes, sea cows like these ones behind us, they're herbivorous marine mammals. And the way they eat was kind of similar like the Desmostylians where they will sink down to the seafloor and they will uproot the seagrasses and chew on them. However, sea cows have this very particular feature that their bones, especially their ribs, they're very heavy and very dense, and they work like a diver's belt, which helps them have uh, what's called neutral buoyancy so they can go up and down the water column as they please. So, and these I think are interesting because unlike the Desmostylian, they've only got two legs. They've only got the front legs. The back legs are lost completely, and that's for swimming. That's because they're in the water all the time, right? Yes. So sea cows uh, went completely aquatic about 30 million years ago, maybe a little bit earlier. So they they completely lost their hind limbs. They only have their four flippers, but they have a big, very muscular tail. Oh, okay. And you know, another thing that I that I always love about sea cows is that you can tell that evolution has progressed in them because they don't have their hind legs, but they do still have the remnants of a pelvis. So if you'd been in Los Angeles 15 million years ago, you would have been swimming, and you might have seen any one of these marine mammals. It was warmer then too, because these days, sea cows are only found in the tropics. Thanks, Jorge, for telling us all about them. You're welcome. There are marine mammals that are now extinct. I'm here with Dr. Jorge Vela Suarebe. Hey, Jorge. Hi, Grace. <laughs> <laughs>